click on the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon to not miss any of our brand new videos. Hello friends, this is Deepika from Nothing Wired and I am at the grand launch of Canon EOS R. So Canon EOS, EOS R is a full frame a mirrorless a camera from Canon and it has been focused basically on the pro photographers who are you know who are into high end photography and as along with EOS R a camera there have been a launch of four new lenses which are more compatible with EOS R range of cameras so let's go through all the good features of the new Canon EOS R hi everyone so Canon has launched its new EOS R system it's a mirrorless uh, first lineup for full frame it's come it's coming with four lenses uh, 24105 f4 50mm 1.2 35mm micro 1.8 stm and a new lens which is 2870 for the first time zoom lens coming with a big aperture f2.0 the key specification for this particular camera is that this camera, as I said before, it's coming with a full frame sensor, it's a 30.3 megapixel with 8 FPS and it's coming with the latest digit which is digit 8 processor with the uh, autofocus technology which is dual pixel CMOS sensor which is focusing all over 88 into 100% of the area. It will be coming with 5655 five, five autofocus points which are individually selectable and then it is coming with 8 fps and uh, with the lenses there is a new technology or a new communication system if you will see so with the lenses you will see that it's coming with a control ring now this control ring is customizable which means that you can go ahead and set av tv exposure components on this control ring through the menu system so let's have a quick look on let's the let's have a quick look at, uh, at the body how uh, are the buttons placed and all so if you see that uh, the grip of USR is uh, quite uh, comfortable, it, 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 it replicates or it is like your um, the current lineup, quite a firm grip and the placement of the buttons if you see again is a right hand placement which is patent for Canon and you have various rings and if you see that there is a LCD panel on top of the camera and when you go ahead and set few things you will see all the options available so in case you have your camera on a gimbal or you are uh, you want to use your viewfinder then you, there's a, there are easy modes which you can go ahead and see on the top LCD and change if you see on the uh, the uh, rear side of the camera on the right hand side the layout of the uh, buttons is very simple and there's a new multi-function button which is available this time wherein you can go ahead and set few options on the multi button so whenever you are viewing or clicking through viewfinder then you can go ahead and use this function and whenever the changes happen in this in this particular uh, button all the changes are seen in the viewfinder so it's a big electronic OLED electronic viewfinder which is there with your uh, the LCD screen is a very angle LCD screen it can be flipped 360 degree so people who are doing vlogging and blogging it's a great deal for them and as i said before that it comes with dual pixel cmos sensor that means that it is a quick autofocus wherever you touch it will autofocus and for the autofocus points people who want to select autofocus points if you do a single autofocus point it will be five six five five autofocus points which you can select all over the screen so that's something which is new with the system Okay. If you see the menu system, uh, there aren't a lot of changes in the menu system. It is exactly the same as we have in our earlier lineups. So people who are upgrading from the previous model to the new, to this model or upgrading from um, entry level model to this particular model, you'll not see any change in terms of transition from one model to the other model is very simple and the uh, placement of the buttons is so, um, as in uh, they've kept it so simple, like all the camera operation button is under one category and then all the autofocus button is under 
one category the playback options are in one category the setting in one category and then these are your additional functions which you want to set so when you go in your additional function you will see the various options can be set so which i was talking about your uh, this multi function bar so what the multi function bar gives you is that it gives you the option to go ahead and set a lot of things like you can set auto focus on this flexi priority movie recording so people who are uh, who want to change the white balance i so everything can be set so for example i set white balance so after choosing white balance i have three options see so in this option which is a slide option right mm -hmm. i can go ahead and set <coughs> white balance kelvin or i can so if let's suppose i have set kelvin and then i have option to set another on the right tab and then i have option to set one more on the right tab and once you have set and then you come to the menu screen and then so right now i've set the auto focus Mm, a selection on your uh, m mal this multi function button and then i can go ahead and just drag and then just by sliding the button i can go and choose so face tracking single auto focus point so once you're working in the viewfinder you will see that it's very comfortable uh, to go ahead and move the function using this multi function bar for you and this quick button which is like the famous button which is there on all the dslrs where you can all the option is available on your lcd screen and as it's a touch screen you will see it's so simple to go ahead and just touch and go ahead and change any options you want to go ahead and change just by a touch the quick button brings up all the menu system out here and just by a touch you can go ahead and change this is that how quick it is if you see the modes uh, the traditional mode gives all the modes ah there's a new mode which is um, introduced uh, in eos r which is the fv mode it's called as the flexi mode now what the flexi mode helps to do is that you can go ahead and change the uh, val value of uh, the flexi mode huh? so you want to go ahead and change all the things a possible to change in the flexi value mode that's also something important it has the like the leveler so that if you want to go ahead and see whether the camera is horizontal especially in landscape then you have your levelers out here you can see your histogram option available so if you see it's like a lot of features which a person wants to see on the lcd before he clicks the photograph everything is available it's a touch shutter if you want to go ahead and use a touch like this to touch and click the picture there's also an option available so this time the lenses will start with rf generally the previous lineup was uh, with ef and efs now it will start with your rf so this to need that this rf lens is specifically to this uh, new camera body now one thing you have to note is that uh, this as i said it is a um, add on to the current lineup which means that if you want to use the current lenses which we have like we have variety of ef and efs lens then there is there are three kind of adapters which are coming with this camera body one is your uh, normal adapter which will go ahead and put for the first time uh, efs lens will also be compatible with eos r initially there was a limitation wherein the full frame we were not able to use efs lenses but now with the current line what they have done is that all ef and efs lens with the help of the adapter will be compatible with this particular uh, camera body and as i said that there are three types of uh, adapters one is a normal adapter which just goes ahead and uh, gives the option of ef and efs lens to be used with your esr body and one comes with the special control ring so there's a, the adapter will come with that control ring so that the ef and efs lens can also enjoy the usability of this control ring which is the first time with your eos r uh, lenses the rf lenses and the third uh, mount adapter is uh, with the uh, the drop in filters so people who are interested in putting in nd filter polarized filter protection filter they can go for that particular mount and use directly on this particular lens
So we'll say that. Uh, so if you let's see what all uh, uh, compatible options are available with the uh, with the uh, USR. So if you see that the USR body are coming with a lot of compatible buttons, as in what all you can go ahead and mount. So it's uh, uh, your remote, and then you have a mic jack and a headphone jack. Both are available. Then you have your HDMI. Uh, as well as your USB is available. Yeah, all these options are available. Uh, it has. So you don't have to buy any additional accessories to attach it. You, you have to buy additional accessories. What I mean is that the com the additional accessory. Yeah, yeah, it's the option is available. You can put yeah. a mic, a headphone jack, yeah. HDMI, USB, a remote. All is compatible with this body. It comes with a single slot, uh, a SD slot. So it's a single slot uh, available. Yeah, so no, maybe it's a demo. Uh, yeah, it's a demo thing, so it's like long. Yeah, and your and yeah, okay, yeah, one more important thing: the ba battery is uh, the same battery which is coming with your 5D Mark IV. Okay. Yeah, so the same battery is uh, is being uh, is been put in USR system. Uh, so if you talk about um, few technology or technical uh, important information, I would want to highlight uh, the dual sensing IS and a combination IS which has come with this EOSR, wherein um, for still as well as your movie, you will see that the camera is uh, focusing through the lens as well as the camera body. Yeah, so there is a little confusion when people say that uh, um, uh, there is no IS. Uh, in the camera body for the new US USR, maybe it's just that the terminology which they're using is a little different. Um, in both still and movie, both lens and the camera is coming together to give you a high um, camera shake, free image. The the new IS system, which is which is which is being featured in this body. Now, uh, with the new RF lenses, one important feature is there that there is a lens chip, uh, a new lens chip inside the lens, and there are 12 pin communication through the on the on the lens. So you will see that the lens is communicating at a very fast rate to the camera body, and the uh, the uh, lens uh, there's a there's a feature called as digital lens optimizer. Initially, the digital lens optimizer, which is unique unique to Canon, uh, which uh, eliminates all the abrasion which the lens uh, brings in on the camera in image, was initially eradicated or eliminated either with the software which was DPP or its few model which was in the camera. Now, the digital lens optimizer, as in the correction, will happen directly at the lens and all the um, abrasions and all the limitation will be eradicated in lens itself before it, the image comes onto the camera body. So the details are really high end? Yes, especially because you used a 50M 1.2. Uh, it's a, a extremely sharp lens and uh, 1.2 opening so you will see and, and 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 the unique thing about the 50mm is that it has a 10 blade yeah the aperture the iris is made of 10 blades generally you'll see it around, around 6 7 but uh, all the rf lenses are 9 blade uh, iris and uh, with 50mm it is 10 blade that's also one of the unique thing so yeah, a lot of detail so according to you, uh, like this camera is uh, mainly focusing on the people who want to do high-end photography or also on the normal, uh, might be bloggers or some amateur people also can use this? Yeah, uh, see what I feel is that because uh, the compatibility of the lenses, because of the compatibility of the lenses and this camera being a mirrorless, obviously the uh, weight is, uh, weight uh, weight wise it's quite um, as in light so um, so I would say that it's not restricted to only professional I think that a person who is starting up uh, and wants a full frame yeah that's what he's looking at he's looking at a full frame camera body a light body and uh, um, wants the flexibility to choose lenses or for the entire lineup uh, I'm sure uh, it, this will, um, as in, uh, this camera will be good for them as well as obviously for professionals as the full frame and uh, 
with the current uh, new lens and the existing ones i think it is a, a great deal for both beginners as well as professionals friends this was the all a new canon eos r it has been launched with a lot of new technical aspects and uh, it will help in high end photography we'll be back soon with another tech bite till then don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you and bye